anim na putatlong araw na pala ang mga astronauts na sina Bob Behnken at Doug Hurley sa International Space Station o ISS at pauwi na sila sa Earth. Ang paghihiwalay ng spacecraft nilang Crew Dragon sa ISS at ang biyahe nila pauwi ang pag-uusapan natin sa video na ito. Hey guys, this is Madam Info, welcoming you to this channel. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button below. Pakiclick na din po ang bell button para malaman ninyo agad kapag may bago tayong video na makapagbibigay ng mga kamanghamanghang kaalaman lalo na tungkol sa science at mystery. Di ba't parang kailan lang ay pinanood natin ang paglipad ng Crew Dragon Demo 2 mission ng SpaceX sa ibabaw ng Falcon 9 rocket papuntang ISS? Alas 3.22 ng madaling araw ng linggo, May 31 dito sa Pilipinas nang nag-lift off ang Falcon 9 at 10.27pm naman kinagabihan nang mag-dock ito sa ISS. Kay bilis ng panahon dahil nakamahigit dalawang buwan na pala si na astronaut Bob Behnken at astronaut Doug Hurley sa International Space Station. Sa kanilang pananatili sa ISS, nakapag-ambag ng mahigit isang daang oras ang dalawa sa paggawa ng mga science experiments at investigasyon sa laboratorio, lumahok sa mga events kung saan ini-interview sila ng media o kinakausap ng mga organisasyon dito sa Earth at nagsagawa ng mga spacewalks kung saan pinalitan nila ang mga lumang bateryang gawa sa nickel hydrogen at nag-install ng mga bagong lithium-ion batteries bilang upgrade sa kanilang power system. Bago sila umalis ay nagkaroon muna ng kaunting seremonya bilang tanda ng pagpapaalam nila Bob at Doug sa ISS. Well, welcome aboard to the International Space Station and the crew of Expedition 63. It's an exciting day for us all as uh, we bid farewell to our two friends and colleagues, Bob and Doug, as they complete the, uh, the journey of this amazing test, test mission. Before I hand the mic over uh, to Bob and Doug, I, I do want to make mention of this uh, very special flag that has deep deep uh, space history getting deeper as this flag will return to Earth with the, the crew, crew Dragon guys. So, uh, Doug, the flag's all yours. It's been a pleasure, and here you go. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for this. Uh, yeah, this flag has spent some time up here uh, on the order of nine years uh, since we dropped it off on STS-135 after it flew on STS-1. So very proud to return this uh, flag home and uh, see what's next for it uh, on its journey to the moon. Now, as Doug mentioned, we're about to embark on the, the final portion of the journey. I've referred to our, some of our, our SpaceX friends as the, the hardest part was getting us launched, but the most important part is, is bringing us home. Uh, my son and Doug's son uh, are really excited not only to get their fathers back, but to get our Apatosaurus, our zero-G indicator that they nominated to go with us on this historic mission for Jack and Theo. Uh, Tremor the Apatosaurus is uh, headed home soon, and uh, he'll be with uh, your dads. Uh, you'll have to pick which one of us is, uh, is your favorite. Pagkatapos ng seremonya, ay nag-ayos pa sila Bob at Doug ng mga gamit na kailangan nilang dalhin sa Crew Dragon para iuwi sa Earth, gaya ng mahalagang science experiments. Noon ay may mga sampung oras pa sila para maghanda bago sumakay sa Crew Dragon. Panoorin natin at pakinggan si Gary Jordan ng NASA para sa mga susunod na mangyayari. Dahil gusto kong maihatid agad ang video na ito sa inyo, may mga bahagi ng video na hindi ko na muna maisasalin sa Tagalog. Now, let's go through some of the major upcoming milestones for today's departure coming up soon at uh, just around 2.35 p.m. Pacific. We're currently awaiting Bob and Doug to ingress or board the station, uh, or board the Dragon uh, for their return flight home. They're doing a little bit of closeout duties now, uh, but that'll be one of the first items on their agenda today. So less than 30 minutes from now, they'll be closing Dragon's hatch. Uh, around 2.45 p.m. Pacific time. Once inside the vehicle, Bob and Doug will don their SpaceX spacesuits, which will be worn during all dynamic phases of the flight. All those same leak checks on the spacecraft would occur uh, before the crew makes their way into the seats and straps in for undocking. Once the Dragon's hatch is closed, Chris Cassidy will affix a docking target to the outside of the A-pass hatch and then close it about 10 minutes later to 55 p.m. Pacific, creating a space between the Dragon and station known as the vestibule. 
He then has one more hatch to close. That's a no two forward hatch. Now, after all of those hatches are closed, about 15 minutes later, a ground command will be sent to open the valves on the Dragon side and begin depressurization. That's at 3.10 p.m. Pacific, essentially venting air inside and bringing that space down close to vacuum. They have to pause for five at five PSI for a few minutes, allowing the temperature inside that vestibule to stabilize, perform a good leak check, and then continue depressurization. 4.20 p.m. Central Time, they'll conduct a go no go poll. That'll be the NASA teams here in Mission Control Houston and SpaceX teams in Hawthorne. If all is go, the undocking sequence begins. The undocking command will be sent, followed by a few minutes for the umbilical that connects the power and data between the two spacecraft to detach. Twelve hooks uh, will retract, and then two firings of Dragon's thrusters will initiate, and the undocking will be complete. That uh, separation scheduled for 4.34 uh, p.m. Pacific time. Now the departure burn, there's four departure burns. Immediately after those two uh, burns, they actually have that physical separation, uh, and the, the departure burns will take them around the zenith side of the International Space Station. Those uh, departure burns taking place, uh, there's four of them, and will be taking place over the first few hours of their flight, essentially getting that dragon uh, further away from the International Space Station. Dito ay nakikita natin ang maiiwang crew ng Expedition 63 na sina Commander Chris Cassidy ng NASA at ang mga cosmonauts na sina Anatoly Ivanishin at Ivan Wagner ng Roscosmos ng Russia. Isinasagawa nila ang mga procedures na kailangan bago makapag-undock ang Crew Dragon sa ISS. Nasa loob na ng Crew Dragon sina Bob at Doug at naghahanda na para sa pagsasara ng hatch sa panig ng Crew Dragon. Sa puntong ito ay nakumpirma na na naisara na ang hatch sa panig ng Dragon. Narito na ang mga pinal na instructions bago ang undocking at itutuloy na natin hanggang sa mismong undocking. I just heard the call that Mission Control has, uh, Mission Control Houston is go Dragon for undocking. SpaceX on the big loop. The final reconfigurations for undock are complete and nominal. The ground is go for undocking at the undocking sequence start time of 2330 GMT. Please confirm your visors are down and that you are ready for undock and departure. Dragon copy is go for undock on time. Our visors are down and we're ready for departure. We copy all. Here, we have good motion on the primary set of hooks. Again, first set of hooks driving the navigation light, the forward end of Dragon clearly visible from this view from one of the uh, Japanese cameras. Again, we are inside of the undocking sequence now, good umbilical retraction, and we're driving the first set of hooks. Dragon SpaceX, first set of hooks open and nominal. Nominal hooks in the first set. The first six hooks have completed their driving first set down. The second set is now driving. We're now committed to undock. Dragon SpaceX, all Physical hooks separation. open and nominal. It's open. Dragon departing. Dragon SpaceX, separation confirmed. Okay, separation. Three burns, physical separation, 4.35 p.m. Pacific. Thrusters looking good, counting down to a nominal departure burn zero coming up shortly. Dragon SpaceX depart burn zero complete. 
Copy complete. Our advisor's up. And you heard to part burn zero complete that 12 second firing moving dragon slightly faster away from the International Space Station using those service section Dracos. And with that, Bob and Doug have concluded their stay aboard the International Space Station. They're on their way back to planet Earth. Confirms a physical separation at 4.35 p.m. Pacific as the station and Dragon were flying 267 statue miles over Johannesburg, South Africa. Two good undocking burns and a nominal departure burn zero. Next departure burn coming up in about five minutes. We'll be monitoring crew Dragon throughout the departure sequence, but with Dragon flying free, that'll do it from us here in Mission Control Houston. Godspeed, Bob and Doug. Ang undocking o paghiwalay ng crew Dragon mula sa ISS ay nangyari ngayong 7.35 ng umaga dito sa Pilipinas, Linggo, August 2. Humiwalay na nga ang Crew Dragon sa ISS at sina Bob at Doug ay nagsimula na ng labing siyam na oras nilang biyahe pa uwing Earth. Patuloy din ang komunikasyon ng Crew Dragon at ng Mission Control ng SpaceX na nasa Hawthorne, California. Dito ay sinasabi ni na Bob at Doug na natapos na nila ang mga procedures at naghahanda na silang magpahinga. Pero may mga last minute instructions pa mula sa SpaceX. And SpaceX Dragon on Dragon to Ground. SpaceX is here. Yeah, a couple old guys managed to do some airdrop in up here, and uh, we've got Bob's uh, tablet configured now with uh, screenshots of the uh, day one primary and day one alternate timelines. Uh, if there's anything else you guys can think of, let us know. Otherwise, I think we're going to call it a day. We copy, and that's great to hear that you got that configured, um, and we copy that you are going to go to sleep soon. Um, one just small thing to note is that we were, we need to change the TCS loop set point to a warmer set point, and as a part of this, we will reset the position of the hex bypass to fully closed and then back to crew. So you'll again have control of cabin temperature at that point. Um, this will make the cabin in a temperature along the same lines as what you experienced on the uphill. Okay, copy that. And uh, when will we have uh, the ability to adjust it again, just after you make the uh, change the set point? Yes, after we, we'll just change that hex bypass to fully closed and then immediately back to crew. When you go into that crew procedure, it does have the check to make sure that it is in that crew config. Okay, and you guys are going to do that now or in uh, a little while? Probably in a little while. Okay, copy that. Well, if, if for some reason we get into it, uh, that procedure need to warm it up or cool it off, uh, we'll just check and make sure it's uh, under the crew control part there in the procedure. Uh, otherwise, we won't, we won't mess with it. Sounds good, and I got a slightly closer estimate of probably around an hour and a half from now. We'll be commanding that. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. And uh, good night from Endeavor. Good night. It is great to support you today. You will be woken up by Jay in the morning, so have a great sleep. Thanks, Anna. It was great to talk to you, and uh, congratulations once again. Um, and uh, say hi to Brian for us. It was great talking to him on uh, station, getting uh, set for this, and uh, really appreciate all the work uh, to get us undocked and uh, in free flight and set up for our splashdown tomorrow. Really appreciate it. Everybody have a good night. Absolutely. It's been our, our pleasure. Good night. Habang ginagawa ko ang video na ito, ay oras na ng tulog ni Bob at Doug. Mayroon silang mga walong oras na pwede silang matulog at dahil fully autonomous ang Crew Dragon, wala silang kailangang gawin na pagmamaniobra habang nasa biyahe. 
kailangan naman talaga nila ng pahinga dahil paggising nila ay mangyayari na ang isa sa pinakamahalagang bahagi ng Demo 2 mission at isa rin sa pinakadelikado. Papasok na muli sa atmosphere ng Earth ang Crew Dragon at ito ang tinatawag na re-entry. Dahil mas mahihila ng gravity ng Earth ang spacecraft, ang mabilis ng takbo nito ay lalo pang bibilis papasok sa Earth na aabot ng mga dalawampung beses na mas mabilis kaysa sa speed of sound. Pero dahil sa mga particles ng hangin na nasa atmosphere, ang spacecraft ay babangga sa mga particles na ito at magkakaroon ng friction. Ang friction ay magdudulot ng tinatawag na drag o air resistance na tutulong sa pagpapabagal ng spacecraft. Ang kaso, nagdudulot din ito ng sobrang init at ang temperatura ay pwedeng umabot sa 1,649 degrees Celsius na makakapag-produce ng plasma sa palibot ng spacecraft. Ang Crew Dragon ay mayroong heat shield na plasma proof at gawa sa material na tinatawag na Pika X. Dinevelop ito ng NASA at inimprove pa ng SpaceX kaya kumpiyansa naman ang SpaceX na mapoproteksyonan nito si Bob at Doug sa re-entry. Kapag tagumpay ang re-entry, may apat na parachutes ang Crew Dragon na tutulong pang mapabagal ito bago lumapag sa Atlantic Ocean. May pitong posibleng landing sites na pinagpipilian pero as of this time sa may Pensacola sa Florida ang target ng SpaceX. Ang pinal na desisyon ay nakadepende sa panahon lalo ngayon na nagbabad siya ang Hurricane Isaias sa bandang east coast ng Florida. Kung sakasakaling hindi talaga maiiwasan na sumama ang panahon, may option silang hindi muna maglanding at umikot muna sa orbit hanggang tatlong araw. May sapat na supply naman sa Crew Dragon na pagkain, oxygen at kung ano pa ang kailangan nila na pang tatlong araw. Sa ngayon ay maayos pa ang lahat at umaayon sa plano. Ang splashdown o paglanding sa dagat ng Crew Dragon ay mangyayari bukas, lunes, August 3 ng mga 2.48 a.m. dito sa Pilipinas. Ito ay 2.48 p.m. naman sa Florida kung saan sila malamang na maglanding, pera na lang nga kung mag-iba dahil sa panahon. Ginagawa ko po ang lahat ng aking makakaya para magawan ko rin agad ng video ang splashdown at coming soon din ang part 3 ng ating ISS FAQ serye kung saan tatalakayin natin kung paano nabuo ang ISS. Kaya abangan niyo po yan, sana ay nabusog na naman kayo ng maraming impormasyon sa video na ito. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please click the like button. Again, kung hindi ka pa nag-subscribe, paki-click po ang subscribe button at pati na ang bell para ma-notify ka sa mga susunod nating videos. Ano ang masasabi mo sa topic natin ngayon? Please comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video. God bless!